So let me introduce myself, Hazard. My name is Fletcher. I'm actually a music producer. Um, I'm not um, a director normally, or a misdirector, as the case may be. Making a music video like this is all about putting together a team of absolutely brilliant people who are insanely good at what they do. And obviously for something like this, very unusual skills are required. <laughs> <laughs> the idea started off um, just from seeing a picture on the internet and um, I saw this, uh, this picture of an animal on the side of a person's face and I thought, wouldn't it be classic if this thing made a noise? And like, what kind of noise does a body painted animal on the side of someone's face make? Of course, it beatboxes, you know? So I thought, let's call the beatboxes and the two killer beatboxes I know are Denver and Anderson. <laughs> I met Denver years ago, in the 90s. Um, uh, Denver used to throw uh, the best bass parties in Cape Town called Ghetto 3000. He had like myself, I was DJing at them, he had like Ready D on four decks. It was a, some pretty futuristic bass parties, totally ahead of its time, you know? Uh, Denver and I also toured all, together all over Europe when he was the, the lead singer, rapper uh, for Mood Phase 5. You also might know some of his other rapping personalities, Neon Don, Dappy, what else? What other personalities you got hiding in there? He's, he's killed all his other personalities. Ah. He's got a nice cushy design job for an online agency and he's a family guy and he's like respectable, <laughs> you know, provider and, uh, <laughs> and things like that. But underneath, I know he's a freak. Uh, my name is Denver Turner, aka D4, I'm a super colored. I'm a musician. <laughs> Record collector, art director, and I make music with my mouth. I don't know, Fletcher always calls me up to do the weird jobs, like, so I just like. <laughs> Let's play. This shit's gonna get you high. No, we were at Mr. Sakatumi's launch for that video thing that he did. We were standing outside and. <laughs> all the ideas were scared, flooding out. And we were like, okay, call me, call me, call me, cool. And then, like, yeah, you know, it always happens like that, like three months later. It's like, hey, you know that thing we're gonna do? Like, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the tea. Uh, my name is Anderson, aka Benz, beatboxer or the beat maker. I make beats, I beatbox because I met a crazy guy called Fletcher. That's why I wanted to get involved. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, because this is what I love doing as well beatboxing, making crazy sounds. And yeah, I love music basically. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Anderson, it's, uh, it's so classic how we met. Uh, he came to me as a job shadow. I quickly realized that he had some absolutely unique skills. He could make the most insane noises with his mouth. And we ended up making um, uh, a whole lot of uh, sound design for an animation for the Lurie Awards. Every single noise was made out of a, a beatbox, um, out of, came out of his mouth, you know, so I know the full range of sounds that this cat can do. Next thing I know, he pops up as the, the hip hop in Daba beatbox champion in 2011, so I realized he'd been practicing. Um, yeah, um, after winning the hip hop in Daba, I met him at another show <laughs> also, and uh, we spoke there, and he, he said that we, he's got a crazy idea. Yeah. I'm a little traumatized, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you look like. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it was great, it was awesome. This is this is why I love doing what I do. Get to laugh all day. <laughs> <laughs> the man has the sickest sneeze snare that I've ever heard. I think there needs to be more beatboxes. I hope that this new this video that we just did will in, will inspire a whole new generation of beatboxes. Oh, the shoot has totally exceeded all my expectations. I mean, to see an idea like this come to life, amazing. Um, and everyone uh, that we've worked with, uh, I mean, um, Rick who created these characters, Jim who brought them totally to life on everyone's face, Rowan has made everyone look fantastic. The God's honest truth is that when Fletcher calls you and says, I'm making a music video, you say yes, because <laughs> it will be fun and different and unconventional. Uh, Ron and I ended up at the most fantastic gig in Kenya. Um, 
for a New Year's party uh, at Diani Beach in Kenya where we got uh, accommodated in colonial luxury at the Flamboyant Hotel. So we had lots of time to talk about art and life and music and so it was only a matter of time before we worked on something like this together. I think I really loved the macro shots that we came up with the most. I, I loved the, the simplicity of it and I don't think, uh, I think the shit's gone well to answer your question directly but what I like about it is it's organic and it's not compositing and it's not a whole lot of 3D computer stuff and it just says, you know, real right here on the actual instrument surface, you know, it's amazing. Well, right now, uh, to my right, I'm looking at another freaky robot creature being painted on the side of Anderson's face, and Jim's doing just the most incredible job, and everyone's having a jewel. All right, I'm Jim. I'm a special effects artist and a body painter, and I think it's something I just need to say that I've been shooting all day and full of body paint. This is like, you know, you should never, never interview a girl at the end of the day, so I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> Fletcher knocked on my door on his knees, begged and pleaded. No, I'm kidding. The idea was just amazing, so I thought, why the hell not? Body painters are a very strange breed. They basically have made a career out of painting naked people. It sounds a bit weird to have a world ranking in body painting, but it's pretty cool. Are, are you world ranked I in world ranked painting? I am world ranked What's in body painting. What's your world rank in body painting? Um, my last world ranking was 17 for special effects body painting and fifth for UV body painting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm kind of really vibed out, like grossed out before my meal here. <laughs> I'm about to go eat and I'm so grossed out. Oh. <laughs> He's a very serious uh, beatboxer. He takes, takes his uh, career very, very seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's fun to play like this and important to play like this. And I think uh, when it comes to the two beatboxes and Fletcher's vision and the way it's come together, Denver and everything, it's uh, Anderson, it's amazing. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit, Ryan, that is gold. <laughs> <laughs> I've had too much fun today. I'm gonna have to go home and like, everything for the rest of the day is just gonna be boring. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, hold it, hold it. <laughs> and I got to paint two sexy guys all day. Like, I love my job. Rolling. Rolling. My makeup, my makeup still looks okay. Looks amazing. Oh, did you ever think a boy would say that? <laughs> <laughs> Such a fuckish voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rick Attack, aka Rick, is the madman who came up with uh, character sketches for all these characters that you see in the video. Um, he's a machine. He's got super skills to come up with the characters. I sent him a still from the video, and half an hour later, he sent me 18 characters back. So, yeah, Rick's a machine. Big up. I met Rick properly for the first time when he came to study Ableton Live with me. He's also uh, another muso slash cartoonist slash games designer slash generation you know what i mean oh, 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 oh that's terrifying yeah. <laughs> that's so good <laughs> but uh, yeah thanks to everyone involved it's uh, been a super amazing uh, shoot super amazing crew of people to work with <laughs> and um Good times, good times all around. Everyone keeps telling me that I'm absolutely crazy when I describe this idea that I've had to them. They go, dude, you're crazy. And I think, what's crazy about making something that's fun, that's uplifting, that's highly enjoyable, that's highly entertaining, and uh, gives people a laugh? To me, what's crazy is people spend eight hours a day doing jobs which they hate, chasing after money, making war. That, to me, is crazy. This. This is sanity. This is actually the sanest thing that a thinking person can do in these crazy times. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> <laughs>